They are seen as a rite of passage and a way to pledge loyalty to a gang. But for those who have left the life of organized crime, tattoos are a permanent reminder of the tough times. Tonight, Angelina Iranisi shows us the lengths some people will go to to go to erase those pasts. 13 and a half years in prison, 10 years gangbanging, 10 years addicted to drugs, 15 years selling drugs. Being in a gang, it just felt like it was uh, normal. We were looking for family and security. It just felt like um, home. But eventually, they both had to leave that home. For Faith Eagle, it happened when her kids were taken away from her. When he was four years old and, like, throwing up the gang symbols and everything. That's another reason why I was like, oh my, what am I teaching my kids? She left the gang, but still had her gang tattoo. Years later, a group of men recognized it. She says she was afraid she'd be stabbed. That's when she decided she needed to get rid of the symbol. I was actually proud of it, <laughs> but uh, not anymore. It was like dead to me now. She covered it up with a tattoo to honor her mother, a crown. It meant something, like the other tattoos on her body. Nobody wanted to hear me. Nobody wanted to. It's like I wasn't seen. That was my, my, um, my speaking. Pretty much blacked them all out once I went to the penitentiary. Just by covering my tattoos, it was just kind of letting go. And I guess actually making that step. Brad Christensen joined a gang when he was 13. When he got his first gang tattoo five years later, it was a rite of passage. Coming up, I guess that's something that you, you thrive to get, that you work for when you're living that lifestyle and you're in the gang. Eventually, he became addicted to the drugs he was selling. Each time he went to jail, he got more tattoos. Many he do himself with homemade ink and a makeshift tattoo gun. And then this one all gonna be getting blocked out. Now he's getting some of those tattoos removed, starting with his hands. When I shake somebody's hand, I tell them my, my whole name and I shake their hand firm and look them in the eyes, you know what I mean? Because I wanna be respected and be respectful to them. The owner of a local tattoo and removal shop is helping. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. We're he offers former gang members free tattoo removal on their necks, hands and faces. They have to be out of the gang and well established with Saskatoon straight up. The people that could really uh, benefit from this equipment, unfortunately, are the people that can least afford it. Thanks, Brad. I appreciate that. For both Christensen and Eagle, removing and covering up their tattoos is about moving on and leaving a part of their life behind. It's just not me anymore. Christensen was released from the penitentiary in April and says that he's staying clean. And Eagle has four of her eight kids back. They're sharing their stories in hopes that it can stop kids from making mistakes they can't erase. Angelina Ernie, CTV News, Saskatoon.